Hope everyone's having a great day and is getting out there, getting ready to go camping. Wanted to talk to you guys about something real quick. When we're home, we always plug in the camper. We uh, plug it in, and generally it's on a 15 amp circuit, but we have a long cord that's a heavy duty cord to plug it into. And generally, the only thing that's running is the fridge and a trickle charger to keep my batteries charged. So I wanted to show you guys and talk about a difference in an adapter real quick. So I'll turn you around and show you what I'm using now. So you guys can see nowadays I'm using this heavy duty adapter which has a nice big prong there. Nice big, you can see it's probably, it's at least 12 gauge, it may, it may even be 10 um, gauge cord running in between it. Uh, this real nice makes a good connection on your your uh, extension cord. Um, I do use this every once in a while. We'll go to a state park that doesn't have, um, you know, they only have the 15 amp service or 20 amp service, and this is what we use to adapt. Uh, this is what we used to use with our old camper. It always seemed to work fine. I think the dealer actually gave it to us, but I wanted to show you something. If you look here, look at that. You see how it's melted around there. That's why it's good to always use good quality stuff and also be aware of what you're using while this is plugged in. You can see on here it says, caution, do not load over 15 amps. Um, and I'm sure this is why. We probably had the air conditioner running or something running, water heater, something running that was pulling over 15 amps. So just wanted to give you guys, it's a good safety tip. Share that with you guys real quick. Um, just a quick thing to think about when you're plugged into service other than what your camper is rated for. So have a great day. Please let me know what you'd like to see. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You have a wonderful